I welcome you all my dear students. Today we are going to study about chapter number 3 exponents and radicals. What do you mean by exponent and radicals? Before that I will show you some example. Suppose you can see here I am writing a number in a continuation way in the form of multiplication. You can see that a number is repeating itself in a number of times in the form of multiplication. So how can you write in a standard form that is in an exponential form. You can see here 2 is repeating how many times? 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 is repeating 5 times. We can write down it in the exponential form as 2 to the power 5. Now this is what called exponential form in which 2 plays the role of base and 5 plays the role of exponent. So this is what all about exponent and base. So how can you define the exponent and base? We can define the base tells the number which repeats itself in the multiplication. So therefore what is the base? Your base is 2. And then what is the exponent? The exponent is a little number above the base which tells the number of times the base is repeating itself. So you can see that 5 is the number of times which is showing that 2 is repeating in the form of multiplication. Hope now you are able to understand what is base and what is exponent. Now let us start with the exercise question. Now exercise 3.1 question number 1 is saying write the base and exponent in each of the following numbers. Now here you can see that the root 5 which is going to repeat is the base and 6 is the number of time which is going to which is telling the number of times it is going to repeat so that will be the exponent so we'll write down that as an exponent similarly here root 2 is a base and 3 plays the role of exponent similarly in the downside x square is the base and minus 5 minus 5 plays the role of exponent similarly x to the power minus 5 is base and 2 is the exponent similarly in the next question x is the base and minus 7 is the exponent similarly root 2 is the base and 0 is the exponent Similarly, 3 is the base and 1 is the exponent. Now next question number 2 is write each of the following in the exponential notation. Now we have to form these numbers in exponential notation. Now you can see that in exponential form, this is the repetition of root 5. Ka. But a property, if any root number is multiplied by its root value, then its root is removed. So this root 5 into root 5 आपस में multiply होगा और इनका root हट जाएगा बन जाएगा 5. Again root 5 into root 5 multiply होगा root हट जाएगा बन जाएगा 5. Again root 5 into root 5 multiply होगा root हट जाएगा बन जाएगा 5. So 5 is repeating how many times? 5 is repeating three times. So this will be the final answer. वही property यहाँ भी use होगा root 3 into root 3 बन जाएगा 3. Again root 3 into root 3 बन जाएगा 3 और 3 repeat हो रहा है two times. So this will be three का square. Next is the third one that is 1 by 4. You can bring the 4 on the upside as it is 4 to the power plus 1 and it will come towards up and it will become 4 to the power minus 1. And you know that 4 is the square of 2 that can be written as 2 into 2 whole to the power minus 1. So on further solving it become 2 to the power whole square to the power minus 1. So that will become 2 to the power minus 2. Similarly 9 by 64. We know that 9 is the square of 3. So 64 bhi kisi ka square hoga. 64 is the square of 8. So we will write down 9 by 64 can be written as 3 by 8 ka whole square. Now coming down to the last section that is z to the power minus 3 into z to the power minus 3 into z to the power minus 3. Base say mein power different or sign multiplication ka hai. So class 7 mein aapne laws of exponent padha tha ki jab bhi base same hota hai to power aapas mein add ho jate hai. So they will become minus 3, minus 3 and minus 3. Power x saath jo hai minus ka sign hai. They are having the same sign they will add but the sign answer will come in minus. 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. So the final answer is z to the power minus 9. Question number 3 is express the question in exponential form. So here we will use the laws of exponent and on the right side you can see that I have written different five kinds of laws of exponent that is if base are same power are different in the multiplication sign the power is going to add and if the base are same power are different in the division the power is going to subtract power ka bhi power multiply hota hai and any number to the power 0 is 1 and any number 
with a negative power can be made positive by taking its reciprocal i think so already you know all these laws in the last year studied now here you can see that the base are same power are different and the sign is of division so the power will subtract 8 minus 2 and what is 8 minus 2 6 similarly we'll go ahead with the second one the second one is 3 to the power 7 by 3 to the power 3 again the you can see that the base is same but the sign is of division so the power is going to be subtract what is 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 is 4 now coming down to the third part the third part is 4 to the power 5 upon 4 to the power 2 again the same thing the base are same but the sign is of division so the power is going to subtract that is 5 minus 2 and you know that 5 minus 2 is 3 next is the fourth one that is y to the power 15 upon y to the power 5 again you can see that the base is same but the power is different and the sign is of division so the power will subtract what is 15 minus 5 15 minus 5 is 10 next the last one is x to the power 7 upon x to the power 11 so again what we will do the power is going to subtract with each other so 7 minus 11 is x to the power minus 4 now question number 4 is express the product in exponential form here again you can see that the base is same but the power is different but here the sign is of multiplication so the power is going to add as per the laws so 3 plus 4 is 6 to the power 7 now we'll move ahead with the next one that is x to the power 7 into x to the power minus 2 here also the base is same and multiplication sign is there so the power will add but here it is minus 2 so what is 7 minus 2 you know that 7 minus 2 is 5 now coming down to the next part the third one the third one is 9 to the power 5 into 9 to the power 2 again the base is same power is different and the sign is of multiplication so power is going to add 5 plus 2 and 5 plus 2 is 9 to the power 7 now coming down to the next part the fourth one that is 10 to the power 8 into 10 to the power 5 now again base is same the power is different but the sign is of multiplication so power will add 8 plus 5 that is 10 to the power 13 now next is we need to calculate the value here it is given minus 3 whole to the power 5 will become how much so first we'll write down 5 times minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 into minus 3 now you know that minus into minus plus but always remember any negative number with an odd num power will always give you the answer in negative only so now we will multiply 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 27 3 is a 81 and 81 3 is a 243 so the final answer is minus 243 next the second one the second one is 61 whole cube so you can write down 61 into 61 into 61 you need to multiply 61 three times and then you need to write down your answer that is 2 lakh 26 thousand 981 so we'll write down the answer you also need to multiply the same 2 lakh 26 thousand 981 now coming down to the next part the third one third one is 3.2 whole to the power 5 okay so we will write down 3.25 times 3.2 into 3.2 into 3.2 into 3.2 into 3.2 now this is a big task okay first you multiply 32 five times then how to shift the decimal i'll make you understand first your first task is going to multiply 32 five times and you need to write down the answer that is 3 3 5 5 4 4 3 2 ये तो multiply करके हमने answer लिख लिया अब हमें decimal shift करना है how many place of decimal 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 place of decimal will shift 1 2 3 4 5 so after putting the decimal the answer will come 335.54432 so this will be the final answer next is uh, the fourth one that is 1.44 ka whole square so i'll tell you how to do first you write down 1.44 into 1.44 you multiply 144 into 144 two times and then you write down the answer and then we'll shift the uh, decimal place and 144 into 144 is 20736 now we are having four place of decimal one two three four so the final answer will be two point zero seven three six this will be the final answer 
नेक्स्ट इज द फिफ्थ वन फाइव ए क्यूब होल्ड टू द पावर जीरो पावर का भी पावर होता है तो मल्टीप्लाई होता है ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट मीन्स ए टू दावर थ्री इंटू जीरो इज जीरो एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू एनी नंबर टू द पावर जीरो इज वन एंड फाइव वन जा फाइव नेक्स्ट इज नंबर सिक्स वन रूट टू होल्ड टू दावर माइनस फोर नो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू मेक इट इन पॉजिटिव पावर दैट विल बिकम वन बाय रूट टू होल्ड टू दावर प्लस फोर so now you can write down 1 by root 2 four times root 2 into root 2 into root 2 into root 2 2 times root will cancel each other root of the same number root 2 into root 2 will become 2 root 2 into root 2 will become 2 so the answer will become 2 to the 4 that is 1 by 4 next is the seventh one that is given as root 3 upon 3 to the power 0 Now root three can be written as root three and any number to the power zero is one. So what will be the answer? The answer will be root three itself. So compare करना है कि कौन बड़ा है? Ten to the power two बड़ा है या two to the power ten बड़ा है? जैसे ten का square hundred है. So we will first calculate the value of ten square and as well as two to the power ten. The value of ten square is ten into ten. That is hundred. And here two to the power ten means you need to multiply two ten times. That is a big task, but I'll tell you how to make it easy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now five times two, you take in one, and again rest of the five two you take in one. That is thirty-two into thirty-two. Thirty-two into thirty-two is one zero two four. So who is bigger? Of course, one zero two four is bigger. So we'll write down hundred is less than one zero two four. So we'll write down 10 ka square is less than 2 to the power 10. Now next we need to compare 3 to the power 4 and 4 to the power 3. Who is bigger? Number dekh ke apko nahi sochna hai ki kaun bada hai kaun chota hai. Apko calculate karke dekhna hai. So first we'll calculate what is 3 to the power 4 and what is 4 to the power 3. That is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Now you know that 2 times 3 is 9. So 9 into 9 will be 81. Here it will 4 into 4 into 4. 44 just 16, 64 just 64. So here we can see that 81 is bigger than 64. That means 3 to the power 4 is bigger than 4 to the power 3. Next is 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 2. Who is bigger? Again, we'll calculate and we'll find it out. 2 to the power 3 and 3 to the power 2. That is 2 into 2 into 2. Here it is 3 into 3. So here it is 2 to the 4 to the 8, and here it is 3 to the 9. So 8 is less than 9. So therefore, we'll write down 2 to the power 3 is less than 3 to the power 2. Now, question number 7 is asking: If a and b are any natural numbers, is it true that a to the power b is equal to b to the power a? No, it is not true. Why it is not true? First of all, let us suppose the value of a and b as any one of the natural number. So let us suppose let a equals to 1, and B equals to two, where one and two both are natural numbers. Now we will put it in the value of a to the power b and b to the power a, and we will check that we are getting the same answer or not. So the value of a is one to the power two. Here the value of b is two to the power one. One का square one होता है and two to the power one two होता है. So it's clearly we can see that one is not equal to two. So by this example we have proved we have shown. That a to the power b is not equal to b to the power a. So hence the given statement a to the power b is equal to b to the power a is false. That cannot be true by the given example. Question number eight. Which of the following are positive and which are negative? मैंने पहले आपको एक rule बताया था. Any negative number with an odd power will give you the answer in negative. But any negative number with an even power will give you positive. तो ये तो उन नेगेटिव नंबर्स के बारे में बताया जा रहा है बट कोई भी पॉजिटिव नंबर है तो उसका आंसर तो पॉजिटिव आएगा हमें देखना सिर्फ नेगेटिव नंबर की वैल्यूज में कि उसका पावर ऑड है कि इवन ऑड है तो नेगेटिव इवन है तो पॉजिटिव सो so, सबसे पहले देखिए माइनस वैल्यू है और थ्री जो है जो पावर दिया गया है वो ऑड है सो द आंसर विल डेफिनेटली कम इन नेगेटिव नीचे कुछ देखने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि पॉजिटिव नंबर को आप सॉल्व करोगे यूल गेट द आंसर इन पॉजिटिव ओनली उसके नीचे भी जो सेवन का स्क्वायर है वो भी पॉजिटिव है सो नीड नॉट टू सी इट दैट द आंसर विल आल्सो कम इन पॉजिटिव अभी नेगेटिव आ गया माइनस वन इज अगेटिव नंबर टू विद 
odd power odd power may i already told you the answer will get it in negative now zero zero is neither negative nor positive so you write down zero as zero only minus two here also again negative number but negative number with the even power so the answer will come in positive 